76 days ago, I took my first steps on the Croatian long distance trail with only a very rough plan. I originally thought I would be sleeping in my tent and only meeting up with my husband, Brian, once a week or so. But after an early injury set me back, I realized I would need to hike huge days if I was going to finish before my three month visa expired. So we decided together that I would hike an average of 40 kilometers a day and he would meet me with our van every evening. That meant that Brian needed to take on full responsibility for van maintenance, provisioning of supplies, and food prep. It was a big ask, but he was so supportive and wanting to help in any way he could to see my dream of completing the trail become a reality. So, every day while I'm hiking, he has his own adventure to embark on, and while he really wanted to show up fully in his role of supporter, some days were harder than others, which meant that we felt like we were sometimes scrambling. We realized this week that if I was going to finish the hike, we had to both dedicate ourselves completely to the project. We embarked on the second to last week of this project with a renewed vision for how we would work together to get it done. In this video, I'm going to be showing you more of the behind the scenes of Brian's role as through hike supporter because his role has been as equally impactful as mine. I will also, of course, be showing you how this week of hiking went for me. Today might get very scary. I'm gonna be climbing up a thousand vertical meters to start and then I'll be up in this next mountain range pretty much all day. And I'm gonna be seeing like six different mountain huts, so that'll be interesting. And Brian has gotta go do some chores for us, so he's not gonna hike with me at the start of the day. He might hike in to meet me at the end of the day because today is a 45 kilometer day. So if he, if he carries in a little bit of water for me at the end, that would be really nice. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah. What chores are you doing today? So my job today is to completely restock us for food. Uh, so generally we get about four days of food for a hung hungry hiker. <laughs> so we're, we're out. Uh, so we had a really good breakfast, but we need to restock here for the next big uh, section. So that's my job today. I feel like I have a low mood and I think it's starting to sink in that I'm almost done the hike. It's this weird interplay between I know I need to hustle, I know I need to hike big distances every day in order to finish the hike on time, but there's the other side of me that if I could, if I didn't have to leave Croatia because my visa, my tourist visa, then I would probably slow down and take more time to, to enjoy the end of the hike. So I feel pushed and pulled in two different directions. For me, I wanna finish the hike at this point. I feel like I can, I'm almost there, and that's important to me. But finishing a through hike is so bittersweet because it means that you're no longer living on trail, you're no longer through hiking. You completed your goal, but it feels really bizarre for your goal to be to stop doing the thing that you love to do the most. Now that I've gone past those beautiful horses, I've acquired a bunch of their flies. It's just really annoying. So yeah, I'm gonna put my jacket on. All right, layered up. I made it to this hut I was aiming for and the flies didn't follow me in and there's a stash here. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. <sighs> I'm gonna have some water. <sighs> My morale has been boosted a little bit. I get a break from the bugs. I get to drink a ton of water. And, uh,. Hang out here for a little bit. While I recovered in the hut, the difficulties of my day were hitting me. Meanwhile, Brian was busy completing his support duties. Hey everyone, today's not exactly a normal day. The Ford Transit has some engine codes, so I'm gonna look under the hood, got some ideas for troubleshooting because I was able to read the codes and it's something to do with the air, air filter. So I'm gonna take a look and see if there's any damage. And just had a little surprise. This nice pup is here, so. All right, so taking a look here. Okay, I got to the air filter and it looks good, but I'm gonna pull it out now. Okay, so something I noticed is that this clip is actually broken. So I vacuumed 
the inside of the air box, there are definitely a lot of bugs. Okay, air filter is reinstalled. So it's only being held on by the two front brackets. Time to fire it up and see if we can clear those codes. <laughs> All right. After completing the air filter repair, Brian stocked us up with food. Meanwhile, I was finding my second wind. After over an hour break in the hut, I got myself going again, and I'm out here walking through this big terrain. Ridge walking. Always slower than you expect. But I thought I'd give you a little tour here. Pretty nice. That mountain range right there is Bosnia. And this side is Croatia. Just had another break at this hut. And check the maps. And it's all downhill from here. So I'm heading out. I've got 17K to go and it's 5 p.m. So it's definitely gonna be a long night. I just sent a message to Brian to tell him where I was. He's planning to walk out to meet me. So I was just asking him when he's planning to do that, when I should expect to see him. I fear that I'll like nip off the trail to go pee or something and we'll miss each other. It's a very open landscape, so I don't think that'll happen, but <laughs> that would be pretty annoying. Just over here is the Bosnian border. So there must've been quite a bit of fighting occurring here. There's signs there saying that there are mines or I don't know, suspected mines still in the area. It's basically 7 p.m. So there's still tons of light in the sky, which is great. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm cruising down the pavement and Brian's hiking towards me. So I think it's gonna be a great end of the day today. No. 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 Go. No. Go. 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 No. It's okay. Let's go. Shepherd dogs. I could just see you. It looks like you're wearing a cowboy hat. I know. <laughs> now you can help protect me from the dogs. Oh uh, yeah, you're you're protecting yourself. <laughs> you don't need me. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm just arm candy. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. It's a really stunning spot here. Yeah. I'm out for a very long and flat walk today. I got going at 6.30 a.m. It's agricultural area and I feel kind of like out of it. I'm super tired. I've gone about 15 kilometers now. The hiking is easy and flat and hot. And my legs are feeling a little sore. They're just not used to long and flat anymore. My long break is over. I needed a break from the sun, but so did my phone. So I took a long one, hour and a half, maybe even two hours. So I'm back out, walking along the river. There is no trail now. I'm just bushwhacking through this forest. Nobody walks this anymore. It's obvious. There's these really crazy spiders. Oh, I'm back out on a road, so that's nice. Covered in debris and scrapes now. But 11K to go.
My mood is dismal right now. Ah. The trees here have spikes. Since my last water break, I only made it 1K. I don't feel very good. Oh, you do look quite golden in this light, my love. I don't feel golden. Even if you don't feel it, you look it. <laughs> Brian's joining me now for the last kilometer. Almost done, just gotta go down this windy hill. Done for the day. Feeling terrible at this point. The heat and the sun really got to me today. Tomorrow is a day off so I can edit my next video. So oh, I cannot wait to just lie in bed all day editing. I need a rest so badly. This is definitely the best part of the day so far. It's cool, the sun's setting and Brian's hiking with me. Things are turning around. This is pretty much always what my day off of hiking looks like. I lie in bed, I edit my video that's gonna come out this week, and I try to eat lots and drink lots and recover. Here we go, I'm getting started at 8 a.m. That's because I was up till 3 a.m. finishing my video that's coming out on Wednesday. So yeah, I'm a bit off schedule. So hopefully I make it through today, no problem. But I suspect it might be very tough. Wow, <laughs> I can't tell you enough how awesome it is to cool off. Brian made it 10 minutes because it is so hot already. So we've decided since I had to be up so late last night editing, that he's gonna meet me several times today and we can do that. I'm not really gonna be in the back country much, which means Brian can meet me a bunch. So I have a 7K stretch now before I meet up with him. So today is a crazy schedule. We only had three hours of sleep last night. Uh, Krista was editing her YouTube video. So I'm gonna be full-time support crew, making sure that she doesn't have to carry too much water through this heat. I've made it back to a really fresh road and I can see the ridge I think I'm gonna climb today. It looked really big from far away, but it's actually not looking too bad now. I'm at the 7K point and I'm hanging out in the van and we heard a knock on the door and we're like, oh, weird, I wonder what that is. And it's the woman who lives right here. She brought us a carton of eggs from her chickens, which sadly we had to decline because we eat vegan. But then she's offering us all this other stuff, water, wine. My ears perked up when she said wine. So I think we might be getting a bottle of wine from her. People here are just so welcoming and friendly. Brian will meet me in 12K, so that'll be about my halfway point for the day. Okay, break time's over. It's time for me to tackle my first of two big climbs today. There's the van. There's where Brian's hanging out. And here's where I'm going. Dry, hot, about to hit some serious switchbacks. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. These are some seriously exposed switchbacks. I'm actually moving pretty slow, not because of the heat, but there are tons of these big spiders here. And I don't really know if they're poisonous or not. 
So it's really slowing my progress down. So there's the spider there. So I'm just knocking down the edge. I don't want to harm the spider. And then it's gone out of the way. And then here I go. So I'm looking up and down, up and down, up and down, making sure I don't walk into a snake or a spider. I've dropped down off the ridge now and I'm on the road again, so no spider webs to deal with. I waited out the heat a little bit in the van, so it's 5 p.m. now. I arrived there at 2.30 and then... <laughs> I think this is a tourist town. Arrived here at 2.30 and it's 5, so I waited for two and a half hours. Definitely cooler. I do have 20K left on a ridge, so this could go one of many ways. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'll be hiking into the night. I know that for sure. Look at that sweat. I'm on my second big climb and I'm taking lots of shade breaks. Even though it's a tough climb, it's a glorious trail. So I am loving it. Okay, it's 7 p.m. and I've gained the ridge. Okay, wow. So this is the ridge I'm taking. Brian's gonna meet me. So that's great. And he is a little bit worried about me today. He saw how hard I worked yesterday, how late I stayed up last night, and he just wants, yeah, he wants to be there for me. After the sunset, I was cruising along the ridge for a bit and then it got dark, got my headlamp on and I knew Brian was hiking out to meet me. So it's actually 1am now. So I've been hiking in the dark for hours. Our headlamps died. We're using our phone flashlights and um, <laughs> Brian's shining his on me right now and I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm walking. So we've made it to the road, we're off the ridge, we're just walking down some switchbacks to the van. And yeah, we should be there by like 1.30 a.m. No idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow. At this point, all I can think about is just going to sleep, drinking a bunch of water. But I'm so grateful Brian came and met up with me. Good fun. Yeah, it was really fun, really intense Honestly, and fun at the same time. I, I would have been Very cool. I would have been really stressed if you had been out there by yourself. Yeah, it was scary alone. But together, it was actually a lot of fun. Yeah. But we're super, we're super weird. Yeah, we're super weird. Everyone's down on the beach at the bars and we're on the ridge looking down at all these really cute looking <laughs> beach towns. <laughs> Classic. I went to bed at 3 a.m. and Brian and I were both just so exhausted. We just decided we don't even know what we're gonna try to do today. Let's just try to sleep in. So that's what we did. It's 10.30 a.m. So that was a good solid sleep. And 
we checked out my itinerary. It looks like I can skip today of hiking and I think I might and I think I might just rest um, and start hiking again tomorrow. It'll mean I have no buffer days. So if anything goes wrong, I won't be able to finish the trail, but I think I need it. It's 5 a.m. and I'm gonna get going. So I've got the last big mountainous day today, which is very bittersweet. Today is a severe heat warning. It's gonna get up to 34 to 35 degrees Celsius. So I have to be very smart today. Starting off early, I'm gonna get as many K done as I can before the sun rises. There's Brian. I've made it a few K and Brian drove ahead of me and I can smell some breakfast cooking might be the luckiest hiker in the world. Look who it is. Hi, making lunch for you. Wow. <laughs> okay, and bre breakfast is ready. Great. I'm starting my biggest climb of the day now. Oh, I just saw a mountain goat. I don't think that's technically what they're called. They sort of look like a hybrid between a goat and a deer, but they live in the mountains here. And it was in these rocks and it was just really cute. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it about three quarters of my way up my major climb. Once I gain this final bit of my climb, I'm going to be in the alpine just up and down. So it's not going to be flat, but I won't have the huge long climb again today, which is good. That's the ridge I walked two days ago, and that spot is where I stayed the night last night. So looking at that, I can see I've made a very good dent in my day. And look at this ocean. Wow, what a place. Hey everyone, today is a chores day. So went into town, grabbed some stuff, and now I'm filling up with water. The heat's starting to set in and I'm starting to get a little bit stressed about my pace. I am just about to reach the tallest point of the day, which is this peak here. I just got so thirsty I had to stop. So yes, it's slow going. The tra It's not really a trail, it's a route. And it looks like it's going to be like that for the majority of the day. And I'm carrying a bunch of water. I'm carrying five liters of water today. I don't know if there's any water sources along the way. Um, I'm hoping there is because I'm almost done two liters now, so I only have three left. I'll show you where I'm going. So that is the highest point, and I think I'm going through those mounds as well. I was nervous for today for good reason. This is very, very slow terrain and I'm feeling worried I'm not gonna make it. I don't really know what I'll do if I don't, but today might get very scary. This is the only water source today and it's way too murky. I don't have a filter, I just have my tablet so I won't be getting water feeling a bit discouraged a bit discouraged this is challenging terrain Honestly, I'll probably try to drink both these and then refill them like that's how hot it is I took an hour break here at this hut 
and I sat in the shade the hut was locked but I got water and I got to sit in the shade for an hour I drank um, two and a half liters of water and I filled up three liters of water so I'm feeling way way better about that and I've got a 10k stretch through this technical terrain and then the last 10k is on the road so I'm starting to feel optimistic like this day is doable like I might actually make the 40k I have great news the route has become more of a trail it's actually been graded with these rocks a little bit and I'm able to move so much more smoothly so things are looking up Wow, this is so nice. <gasps> this is a very special place. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next episode. We're getting close to the end and you won't want to miss it.